A race centered controversy blew up last night involving The Bachelor and Fish. Amber Heard is an abusive, literal psychopath, and Hot Take Tuesday is here to play. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Last night on The Bachelor, there was a fashion challenge with Cosmo magazine, and the winner was supposed to get a digital cover of Cosmo. Well, the editor-in-chief, Jessica Pels, picked contestant Victoria Fuller, but then as the episode was airing, Cosmo released a statement last night saying that they were not going to be publishing Victoria F's cover after all because of a racist controversy. Ooh. Oh, what? What? Wait! The controversy was that she modeled in a shirt that said White Lives Matter, but wait, the shirt was for a Marlin Lives Matter organization, as in the fish, which focuses on preventing white and blue Marlin from being overfished. You know, fish can hear you thinking just before you sneeze. The brand is obviously going for shock value to get their point across, but Cosmo said it didn't even matter that the organization she was modeling for was talking about fish. They said the phrase is rooted in racism and that Cosmo stands with Black Lives Matter. I'm out. I can't even stand this broad, but I can't do this anymore, you guys. So last year, you might remember Amber Heard coming out with some shocking abuse allegations against Johnny Depp. She had photos of herself with bruises on her face from when they were married, scars on her arms and hair allegedly torn from her head, plus pictures of wrecked rooms, broken glass, and overturned furniture that she said was all from Johnny. Let me actually write this down. Then, Johnny fired back saying that Amber was the abusive one, that she severed his fingertip, hit, punched, and kicked him. She also repeatedly and frequently threw objects at his body and head like heavy bottles, soda cans, burning candles, television remote controls, and paint thinner cans. Security! Of course, no one believed him. Then, over the weekend, audio was leaked of Amber admitting everything on tape, and the truth came out that she was definitely abusing Johnny Depp. And I, I didn't punch you, and by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Yeah, no, babe. when you f have a closed you fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not deck you. I was hitting you. you I don't know what me. the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're... Fine, I did not hurt you, I did not punch you, I was hitting you. I, I'm not sitting here about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me and you. You're a baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're such a baby! Because you, the because you start physical fights? But like, believe all women or whatever, no matter what. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. All right, it's Hot Take Tuesday where producer Abigail comes out from behind the camera to tell me three random news headlines and I give my hot takes. Hot Take Tuesday. 90s kids are rejoicing because Dunkaroos are coming back this summer. What is going on with these Dunkaroo maniacs? The best 90s snack was Easy Bake Oven Food. I will fight anyone on this. Really bake it? I can bake a real cake. A 450 pound woman from Pennsylvania is set to marry a man who encourages her to eat 10,000 calories a day. And she is hoping to be 600 pounds by their wedding. Here's a clip. Yep, yeah, eat it. Put it in your mouth and just eat it. Take God, a I hate it. I don't care whether you hate it. You said Michael. you'd do it. This is assisted suicide. You can't convince me otherwise. You're killing him, Michael. All right, Michael. all right, all right. And a Cincinnati man called the police 25 times to find his missing hoodie. Ooh, did they try looking at his ex-girlfriend's house? All I do is win. By the way, on a more serious note, conservative radio legend Rush Limbaugh announced yesterday that he has advanced lung cancer. You guys might know that I'm a former radio personality, and of course I'm conservative, and Rush has always been an icon and inspiration to me, so let's all be really praying for him. Plus, the President's State of the Union addresses tonight, which is like my Super Bowl. Bum, 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 bum. So we'll be chatting about that in the Cute Servatives Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, how can you call yourself a cute servative? We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you're always up to date on the latest conservative. And follow us at our main home on Instagram, at Poplitics.